So Mixkit is a site that I recommend to new creators because it has hundreds of free creative assets. If you see here on their website, there is free stock video, there's free stock music, free sound effects, and free video templates. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit a few of their different 850 plus to be specific templates. Now, if we click on video templates, you can see that there are free templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, and DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna show you how to edit and customize some Premiere Pro motion graphics templates, as well as how to edit an After Effects template and then turn it into a Mogurt. Let's start with this first animated drop title here. So let's go ahead and click download. So here is our downloaded folder. You can see that first there is a font text file to download the fonts that are used inside of this template. So you can go to each URL here to install that font on your computer system. Then there's a preview that just previews what it looks like. And there, of course, is the handy dandy Mogurt, the motion graphics template. So to install this in Premiere Pro, just simply click and drag and drop it. And there it is, ready to use. To put it into the timeline, we first need to, of course, make a new sequence. And then let's drag and drop our Mogurt into the timeline. To customize this, if we select it, the essential graphics panel should automatically pop up, which gives us all these controls to customize. If you don't see it though, don't worry, you can go up to window and you can go to essential graphics and it'll pop open here. So what we can do here, first of all, is we can adjust what is said underneath text. And of course you can update the font. Let's change it to bubblegum. You can adjust the size if you want and the text position, but let's update the colors. Change this to a yellow color, kind of a yellow gold. And let's update these two. And now we can hit play and it's updated. To change the duration, just click the end of this and roll this in to make it shorter. So now it animates in and then it animates out real fast. So that's how you can adjust the duration of the Mogurt. So this is all pretty easy to have our newly refreshed design. And by the way, I'm Kelsey. If this video is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And if you like what you see here, you should definitely check out my Premiere Gal toolkit that my team and I designed for Premiere Pro in After Effects. So now you might be like, okay, great. So this motion graphics template is updated to my colors, but what if I want it to stay this way each time so I don't have to update the font and colors every single time? Well, this is where you can actually open up the Mogurt inside of After Effects customize it and then re-export it. Let me show you how it works. So here we can go up to file, open project. And here we're going to select that Mogurt file that we just downloaded from Mixkit. So let's click open. And then it's gonna ask you to extract the Mogurt into the folder, which is what we're going to do. Now it's saying that it must be converted. That's completely fine, just press okay. And here we go. We have our Mogurt here inside of After Effects ready to go, but how do we customize it? We're gonna open up the essential graphics panel here inside of After Effects. Yes, there's an essential graphics panel inside of After Effects too. This is how motion designers create Mogurts for you to use. So we're gonna customize this Mogurt. So first of all, you might be like, okay, so we wanna update the font type. So underneath text controls, we can actually just update it here. It's actually really easy to do. Let's say we wanted to use that bubble gum and then we are going to adjust the size. So let's say we want it to be like about 90 instead. So that way it fits better into frame. And from here, we can go ahead and use all of these color controls to just quickly update our colors. So now that we updated the colors, we can go up here and set poster time to have a different preview. Let's update the name to subscribe. Then let's hit export motion graphics template, export it to the local templates folder. You can add keywords if you want, like liquid, subscribe, title, press okay. And now back in Premiere Pro, it'll automatically show up in your local templates folder inside of your central graphics panel. So you can just drag and drop this and it's ready to go already with all of your color updates that you added so you don't have to reformat it every single time. All right, so that's how you can customize a Mogurt in After Effects and then bring it back in Premiere Pro. But what if you're starting 
with an After Effects template, like this neon text reveal. Let's go ahead and download this one from Mixkit as well. Let's go ahead and open up this After Effects product with After Effects and let's convert it, that's fine. Unlike Premiere Pro, everything operates inside of compositions inside of After Effects. You can see that we're inside of what is called Comp 1, which holds all of the final effects. What we wanna do is update Mixkit to our own text. So we need to double click on the text comp from the project panel. And this is where we can type in our updated text. Let's say Premiere Gal. Now you'll notice that it's off center. We can select all of the text and go over to paragraph and let's center text it. And then let's align it to the center and we can make it a little bit smaller. Let's say around here is good. Now we can go back to comp one and you can see it's updated to Premiere Gal no longer mix kit. But what about updating the colors? Well, this is where we can go into the neon layer and you'll see that there are two nested compositions inside of here. Actually, it's not nested because nested is a term for Premiere Pro, it's actually pre-composed. So what we can do here is if we go up to effect controls, you can see that there's a color control for this composition. So let's say we wanna change this color to a yellow color. Now it will be updated here. And we can select this other one and change this to maybe a more purplish color. Let's hit okay. So now we can see that this has been updated. We can go back to the main comp where we can get the updated glow as well. So we can export this as its own movie file with a transparency layer. You can go up to file and you can export it, add it to Adobe Media Encoder and choose, you know, an alpha QuickTime file but you can also turn this into a motion graphics template that you can then use inside of Premiere. Just like before, we wanna to go to Window, Essential Graphics. And now we need to select the primary composition that holds all of the assets that we want to customize, which is Comp 1 in this case. So we're going to select Comp 1. And the first thing to add is the text layer. So let's go back here into Project, let's open up the text, and let's open up this text layer to find the source text and drag this into essential graphics. We can call this edit text. And you can also click on edit properties. And here we can enable the custom font selection, font size and faux styles. So you can customize that later on in Premiere Pro, which is great. Next, let's add in the color controls. So under neon layer, let's open up these compositions and it's actually underneath this Vegas effect they added underneath rendering, there's a color control. So we can drag this color in here and this could be called color one, for example. And let's do the same with the other layer. Let's say we also want to control that glow. We can go to comp one and we can see that the glow is selected, go to effect controls. And let's say we want to add the glow intensity. We need to open this up, go to effects, glow, and we can take this glow intensity and drag it here. So now we can use the slider to increase the glow, which can be customized as a Mogart in Premiere Pro. So I think this looks good. Let's go ahead and let's set the poster time. Let's rename this to Neon Gal and let's save it to our local templates folder. Now back in Premiere Pro from the Browse tab, here is our Neon Gal. We can drag and drop it into our timeline. We can see it here. And now we can update this anytime to different text and we can change the colors at any time just from Premiere Pro and we don't have to go back inside of After Effects. So now you know how to edit motion graphics templates, you know how to customize it and re-export it back into Premiere Pro with your colors that you prefer. You also know how to edit After Effects templates and then also export it as a motion graphics template to then use in Premiere Pro. And this is a great start into the world of editing templates and making your own templates work as well. Don't forget to download the templates here on Mixkit. They're really, really useful, especially if you're just starting out in the world of video editing. If you want to learn how to edit the mix kit transitions, you can click right over here and watch that full tutorial. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Ooh.